Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, Shad. We stumbled upon some gold. Alrighty, if you guys saw a few videos ago, we went to Dredge 5, we floated there on a mattress. But one thing that we thought is that dredge is built in like the 40s and it was operational through the 80s or 90s or something and it's probably moved. How much gold do you think that thing is? A lot of ounces, that's my estimate. <laughs> a lot Many of ounces. ounces. So uh, we had this thought that that thing just was working one day and then it stopped and it never became operational again. And so there's probably still pay dirt like in the buckets because those things that was in the process of scooping one day and uh it just stopped and so we're going to take another journey to dredge five and we're going to see how much gold we can recover yeah not just from the buckets either like wherever we see dirt basically yeah if so. we can't mine out there we'll mine in here we don't want to uh, get stuck out there on that side by side that won't start you know that'd be lame here Gold pan, C batteries, jumper cables, some good old duct tape. All right, let's go. Shadi, were you on another dredge? Did you go to the bathroom on it? That's trespassing. Yeah, you got to make sure with this with this carpet on these dredges. Uh, Shadi thinks it's grass, and yeah, she, she did it's... poop on another dredge one time. saying about everything being super easy in Nome? Yeah, everything in Nome goes like this. Like, you gotta pick up a vehicle, it's dead, and then like you don't have the right tools, and you gotta get the tools, and then the tools that you have are like all rusted from the ocean. And the uh, constant rain this yeah, year, record. And then, uh, and then the bolts are all stripped out. And then, uh, record producing rain. Yeah, it's just, I don't know if this is like uh, rural everywhere, but in Alaska, especially Nome, this is how every, excursion goes yeah it's just never a simple matter of hopping in your side by side and going yeah yeah and everything's got to be an ordeal you okay, ready ready Let's see if this dog will chase after us tried to go and pan for gold here. Um, it's just been scoured like people with brooms and they've taken the carpets and we'll find a little bit of gold I think. Oh this is doable babe. You just put one chunk of foam on one boot and the other chunk of foam on the other boot and you just walk across. Baby that is a great idea. Thank you. Well last time we tried to do this it was you and me and now it's going to be you and me and a puppy. Yeah and a dirty riled up wet dog. Daddy, no. We got a little bottle of Smirnoff, a little alcohol. Gosh, she is an alcoholic. alcoholic. So I was going right for the beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. Round two plus one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here All right. we go. Sally forth. It's a good thing this uh, cable's here, huh? I know, seriously. And then we have to like find ores otherwise. <sighs> Try to don't poke any holes in the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> They're sharp little nails. Yeah, oh my goodness. This mattress that occurred is definitely to me. riding more than the last one. Oh, yeah. I think the move here is to climb up this ladder and just hit the buckets right there. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say uh, start simple. Oh, there's so much raven poop. I said some of these welds are broken. That's always positive. All right, this is what these things look like. I guess get the pan in there and see if there's a scoop of anything. All right, really. Testify. Oh man, that's gross looking. Definitely smells like it's just a bunch of congealed raven shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> gross. That's it? This is how we cut? Well, we can actually sample some of the dirt that's fallen out of these things, you know? It's like still here. Okay. Just pan this really quick. Let's see if there's anything. Another very quick and dirty. Very dirty. Don't pan this way at home. If you're just looking for traces of it, then do a dirty pan. Because gold likes to hang out no matter what you do with it. Oh, I think I see some. 
Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for watching our channel and uh, we're interrupting because we have an amazing new product for you guys, an amazing new announcement. We're launching Bering Sea Pay Dirt, BeringSeaPayDirt.com. It's a uh, gold right out of the Eroica sluice box, put into a bag with some other pay dirt and shipped to you. So you can uh, prospect with us, you can take part of it with us. You can get gold in every single bag and uh, check it out. We're, we're, we're super excited to share it with you. It has a certificate of authenticity sent, signed by me that this is from our boat. So BeringSeaPayDirt.com. Check it out and thanks. We got one speck. One speck. One speck. See that guy? Boom, our first speck of gold on this prospecting trip. Turns out that Dredge 5 has at least one speck <laughs> of gold. Oh, someone's happy. Mama's back. Nice. Got it. All right, so next I think we're going to go inside. Just glass and stuff all over the place. I mean, if this place has been pretty checked, we're going to have to go find a nook or cranny. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty... I'm sure that's pretty sketch. Ah. Vaguely prison-like. Yeah, chain link fence. It's kind of prison like. Oh, this is like the little money area. You probably had a lot of locked doors here. I think that this is like where the tailings came out. Yeah, I see. Okay, so they they must have they ran, they ran it through the sluice, looks like, and then all this dirt must have been the, the tailings. So if I could get down there, take a sample of that dirt. Just had to go down to the water and so I could run it. Oh. Poor shoddy. Failing. Gosh, it was like. Ugh. Oh, gross. Got in my eye. It was like uh, really compact dirt. I'm just hoping there's like a nugget in here or something. Black clay. This would be the kind of material that we'd be looking for, but it's just so hard packed. It's gonna be hard to, it's really gonna be really hard to pan. How efficient was their recovery? Cause like I said, like apparently it wasn't so efficient that it captured nuggets. I'm sure this place has been like hit hard with uh, metal detectors and the like. Oh, there's glass. I wanna see like a little bit of gold for all of our effort. Oh, look, there's a rusty nail. It's not just like, dust that has blown in over the years. This is definitely their tailings, definitely concentrated. It's just, it's not very mineralized. It's like they weren't even in anything when they stopped running. Oh, maybe that's why they stopped running. <laughs> yeah, that's a good theory. I want to take one more. I want to go right where those buckets were hitting the cleanup. So this is all a giant sluice here. Carpeting, and you can see the expanded metal. People just like tore it apart, looking for gold left behind. Yeah, savages, who would do that? Mm, I don't know. Not, not, no one I know. <laughs> I'd love to find any dirt in here, but this has definitely been cleaned out pretty good. But let's see if we can't find a little pile or something in here. All right, this is like in the middle of this recovery system. So if there's gonna be likely any gold, it's probably gonna be here. Gosh, I hope this isn't just bird crap. All like, right, final pan. It's like tons of like rust. Take a look here. Oh, look at that, baby. Believe it or not, we actually have not a bad showing in the pan. There's some gold in that recovery system. Huh. How rich do you think you can get the panning uh, stuff from Dredge 5? Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> if you want to see a little bit, I mean, it's, it's nice because it's like, it's coarser. So if you want to see like a little bit of gold, Go for it, but goodness, like, don't bet the farm on it, you know? Nice. There's some gold flakes in there. All right. So what do we do with our gold flakes? Our gold flakes, we go... Oh. Remember, folks, don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. You know, if you, if you go chasing after every flake, then all you get is flakes. Well, we tested a lot of areas, tested the buckets the tailings pile. But we found a speck near the buckets and finally Alex 
ventured into where they were doing uh, the initial recovery point before it went into the sluices. And we just tested that and we actually found like, uh, I'd say like 12 chunks or so of uh, kind of, you know, more coarse gold, which is... Uh, I mean, for a couple small handfuls, that ain't yeah. a bad pan. Yeah, no, it was a pretty good pan for a couple small handfuls. If we were on the beach, I'd want to mine it. But unfortunately, you know, there's not a lot of dirt left up there. But all together, this was a success because we came, we saw, we found gold on Dredge 5.